What's up, guys? It's Stealth here, and I'm back in Star Wars Night of the Republic 2. Alright, let's go. We have to get 1B8D. Not him, but a droid he has. Droid head. Okay. Right over here. Greetings, Master. No, no, no. I need to know if you have any parts for one of Behemoth's serving droids. Entity Behemoth unknown. I have many serving droid parts. I want to buy them. The market rate for those parts would be 25 credits. I'll take it. Thank you for your business. Kiff and the cantina can probably do something with this. We should head back. Alright, we have the remnant of S0D3. Let's head back inside. I could have a hotkey for just like four speed. I really should, because it's such a useful power. Alright. Let's talk to Kip. I want to talk to you about the murder. I have the remains of S0D3. Can you get any information from it? Hello, there. What is this? Oh, my, she's dead. Kawana Bota Yuta We are not going to question how we had a view above the droid's head, we're just going to roll with it and move on. Nico, what's up? Welcome back. Can I talk to you about the murder? Foul business, that is. I want to show you S0D3's last transmission. If it'll help Dagon, you got it. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. We should go talk to Captain Riken and clear all of this up. Nico, is it? And the off-worlder. What brings the two of you here? Dagon Ghent couldn't have killed Captain Sulio. That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. Nico can explain it. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing Pazak. It was a prosperous night. That should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulio, but this will greatly assist our investigation. You have been ordered off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Well, they weren't really fighting. The regulars at the cantina can vouch for it. Have you read the report? Some of the things Sulio called him were vile. Sulio and Dagon clearly hated each other. But did you talk to anyone in the bar? Others can confirm they were good friends. Why, you little... Friends would not carry on in such a man. It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Bahima, the bartender, can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. Well, there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. That's true, but Nico saw him come from his office. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Sulio was killed, and he did not have an alibi. Well, he came from his office, but a recording of the murder shows the shot came from the opposite direction. You have a recording? Well, I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Ghent. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Ghent free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's gonna be on your head. The men will be working on getting Dagon Ghent out right away. The Major sure isn't happy. You're quite a team. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. You know, it seemed he was particularly unwilling to believe Dagon was innocent. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. I've heard there's been some concern about that. With Dagon free, I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. What are you talking about? I'm not gonna say anymore. Probably said too much already. If you head over to Dagon Ghent's office, some men will bring him there shortly. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but... 
all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had definite class, but I prefer being out of my own all the same. I owe you and Mandalore one. Alright. Mandalore said you might be able to help me out. I need to get in touch with someone from the palace. Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut for. I know a few people, though. What do you need to get in touch with? A Jedi Master. A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a Master there, I think I know who it is. Well, can you get in touch with someone from inside the palace? There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those disks because they have some contact information on them. People I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure. And that holodisk has the procedure. Who has them? The Kells gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one that cleaned me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as Drexel leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. You take Mandalore with you, though, you should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted all of this. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him. Fair enough. I got a double plate of the lightsaber. Not that I need another one, I can make all the lightsabers I want. But it might have a different crystal. No, it's just blue. Where's like the the uh silvery blue ones, like the teal colored ones? Where are those crystals at? I'd like that crystal. A lot. Let's go talk to this Pakel person. Alright. Buddies are right by my side. Everyone's still right there. You must be Pakel. What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. You have something that belongs to Dagon Ghent, and I want it back. You? And just how do you intend to do that? I have some credits. Perhaps... The Offworlder wants to make a donation. Kill her and take everything. Well, aren't you just a lovely... Just ball of joy. the encrypted holodisks yet. I won't be able to get a hold of my contact from the palace without it. Great go in there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter. You best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting him. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in Isis anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. I have something to do first. Come back when you're ready. Better yet, call the whole thing off. Palace politics can get you killed these days. I have to do something first. Sorry, I was... So you still intend to go... Like I would... I have something to do. Come back when you're ready. Jeez, it didn't hit anything. Weird. Anyways, I had a guest. So, yeah...
Okay, let's go over here. Because we have an open starport visa, which we can give to that lady and her family. Because they could use it. So let's go over there. Let's go over there and give it to them, shall we? Right over here. Captain, you're back. Please tell me you have an open starport visa. I found a visa. Thank the Four Moons for your kindness, Offworlder. I only wish I had some way to thank you. But my children and I will never forget your kindness. Hurry, children. We get to go on a spaceship. Thanks to the captain. We get to go into space. I don't know why her animation was glitching out just now. That was a little weird. Whatever. When do I level up next? Not anytime soon. Okay, that's fine. Totally fine with me. Let's just rush back over here. Alright, here we go. That's a few forms I need to go through, too. Hmm. Quite a few forms. I need to set one later. So you still intend Yeah, 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 yeah. Contact him now. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Vaclu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the general has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. I perfectly understand why he would not want to see us anymore. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Well, Master Kavar, I didn't know you were still alive. Kavar, the famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. No, I survived the war, if only just. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore. Even an old friend. Look, I don't blame the Jedi Council. I still trust in their wisdom. I'm not sure how well placed your faith is. I feared you would harbor dark feelings because of our treatment of you. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy. There's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain, only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men, and watch your aim. Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must return to the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Last! Men, take care of her! I won't let Kavar escape. Observation. This is a great opportunity for slaughter. Area effect attacks such as grenades will do great damage to soldier and civilian alike. No, HK. You are not to throw grenades at or near civilians. Seriously, that droid is bloodthirsty at times. Alright, there we go. Let's take their stuff. If they have any loot. 
Loot? Any loot at all? No loot. Let's just get out of here. Alright. There's bound to be more soldiers. Yep. Right on cue. I missed. All right, there they go. I have a green crystal. That's nifty. I'm not certain I'm going to need a green crystal. I want that light blue one. If I can get the light blue one, I'd be happy. Man, look at all the stuff they dropped. Alright, let's get out of here. Off we go! Hmm. What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? Vaklu soldier. Yeah. <laughs> Vaklu soldiers have been attacking me. What? Why? That makes no sense. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? They've been getting bolder recently. Dude, it's broad daylight and they were wearing uniforms. You, you must be mistaken. Soldiers just don't attack civilians without orders. If it weren't for the comm blackout, I'd check with command. Just head to the safety of the Merchant Square, citizen. We'll send a patrol to investigate as soon as we can contact our HQ. Not all the military is after us. Still, Vaklu can throw a whole army at us. I think we've outworn our welcome over here. We should head over to the spaceport before General Vaklu invents some charges against us. Then we'd be in real trouble. Fair point, Mandalore. Let's get out of here. You know what to do. Oh, dear lord. Let's do it! Alright, fine. No. Seriously. That was not the smartest choice you guys would have made. The diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired. What the hell does that mean? That would be us. Let's get on with this. Okay, let's take care of these ones here. Let's go. Your visa's been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. Things are going crazy in this quarter. No kidding. The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's gonna be some time before they forget about us here. No more trips to ISIS for us until the situation changes. A lot. I agree. Oh my, come on. More HK-50 units? That's the last one. It's the last one HK-47 needs. HK needed. Alright, we'll be able to find their base now. Let's get out of here.
back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you can use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. That sounds altruistic. I didn't know you had it in you. I don't have it in me. It's a matter of self-interest. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic, and then my people would be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebon Hawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. Well, let's get out of here then. Alright. Take these. And that. Man, it seems a little lifeless around here. Alright, let's talk to the guide. Ready to head back to your ship? Give the word and I'll take you there. Let's go! Follow me. Alright. Back onto the Ebon Hawk. statement. There is nothing you can do to me. Do your worst. Agitation. <laughs> my photoreceptors. My photoreceptors. Statement. I shall up the charge of your circuits next time. Now, answer the question. Posturing statement. I will never talk. Statement. Then I will have to settle for your screams. That is very good. Statement. My prisoner has revealed something of interest. Allow me to share it with you. Statement. The facility that is creating these cruder, unsophisticated versions of me is located on Telos. I propose we go there and turn it into a smoldering crater. What are you doing up? I dreamt of Manacor. I remember the ships, the last stand of the Republic. The doubted remnants of our fleet, the largest we could gather. But it was damaged, weakened, and vulnerable. The Mandalorians couldn't resist. They tore into us like beasts, shredding our ships to scrap as we fought back. Yet this time, there were no reinforcements for either side. Revan had been delayed out system by Mandalorian scout ships. By the time he arrived, it was too late. And beyond Malachor, there were no more Mandalorians left to die. I remember standing on that bridge with you and watching the destruction of the Republic, watching ships full of soldiers and Jedi burn and die. I remember the look you had when you turned to me. It was the longest you'd ever looked at me. You didn't say anything, just a nod. Events moved quickly then, even in my dreams. Flashes, explosions, you falling. I could feel the pain around me. And then the memory. The drifting hulks of the Mandalorian ships, the dead, allies, friends, strangers. And then the echo, lingering. The sound I awakened to in my nightmares. My decision haunts me too. Blame lies with me for creating it. The situation forced your hand. Anger forced mine. If you are to blame for its creation, I am equally to blame for commanding its use. You realize that unless action was taken, the fleet would be destroyed and the Republic would fall. None of us realize the magnitude of what we unleashed. So you fought against the Mandalorian Why am I in the middle? I was part of the war effort. Yes, I worked as a technician, though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor, the absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. 
Settle down, you two. This isn't the time or place for this. You fought for no cause other than to spread suffering and pain to the people you conquered. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malakor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover, stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. That's enough. This conversation is over. Fine by me. Jeez, my team really needs to work better on their... We need some, like trust building exercises or something. I don't know. Or they fall or something like that. They're gonna rip each other's throats out. That's gonna be it though for this video. When we return, we're gonna be talking with Kray a little bit for force powers and probably checking with HK-47 and Mandalore. Goto, I'm kind of holding off on that for now. That's gonna be it for me. I will see you all in the next video.